Hi, my name is Jennifer Reynolds. I'm a licensed associate counselor and I work in the Child and Adolescent Department at Princeton House Behavioral Health in Hamilton. Today I'm going to be talking about what anxiety may look like in adolescents and how parents can support adolescents who are struggling with anxiety. Anxiety is when individuals experience intense, excessive, and persistent worry about everyday situations. Anxiety is the most common mental health concern among children and adolescents, affecting upwards of 20% of adolescents throughout their lifespan. For adolescents, anxiety can be a healthy reaction to a new or stress-inducing event, such as competing in a sporting event, going on a date, starting a new school year, or learning how to drive. Some anxiety can be healthy, and other anxieties can present as harmful. Healthy anxiety may make adolescents feel apprehensive or nervous, which in turn can help motivate an adolescent. For example, an adolescent may feel anxious about a final exam, which can help motivate them to increase their study time and modify work habits to achieve a desirable grade. When it comes to harmful anxiety, adolescents may appear with disproportionate or irrational thinking patterns that cause high amounts of distress and panic that often impair an adolescent's functioning in school, at home, and in their relationships. For example, an adolescent may experience a high amount of anxiety about starting a new school year. If an adolescent is experiencing a distressing amount of anxiety, they may engage in school avoidance, increase tantrums, and present with distress in their body. This type of anxiety can be a cause for concern for parents and guardians. They may want to seek outside resources to help their team reduce stress and agitation. Parents may be wondering, what are some warning signs that adolescents may be experiencing a higher than typical level of anxiety? Here are some physical signs, crying spells and tantrums, excessive shyness or refusal to attend necessary events such as school and family functions, constant worrying and restlessness, avoiding situations or places because of irrational fears, complaints of frequent physical symptoms such as stomach aches or headaches, experiencing sudden and frequent panic symptoms. It's important to remember that parents play an important and integral role in adolescents' lives, especially those struggling with anxiety. Parents of adolescents with anxiety ultimately can help support their adolescent by being a sounding board and providing a safe place to talk through anxious thoughts and worries. Also, by encouraging them to find safe and effective coping skills that help them decrease their panic symptoms. Some examples of effective coping skills are deep breathing, practicing mindfulness, using stress balls, distracting with a walk or a type of physical movement, drawing, and creative arts, as well as utilizing positive self-talk to help increase those positive thinking patterns. Parents can increase structure and encourage daily routines to make adolescent life more predictable and less anxiety provoking. Parents can also support their adolescent outside of the home by advocating for them at school to be sure they have the necessary accommodations and support systems. Advocating for your teen in school may mean collaborating with their teachers, guidance counselors, and support personnel to incorporate accommodations in the classroom. Parents have the options to seek out once a week traditional outpatient therapy or more intensive services. At Princeton House, we offer full day programs, five days a week, or half day programs, three days a week. These programs services adolescents from ages 12 to 18 and include things like dialectical behavior therapy, dual diagnosis tracks, psychotherapy groups, art therapy, animal assisted therapy, and multifamily support groups. If you or a family member are struggling with anxiety and need help, seeking out resources is the first step. By contacting your local branch of NAMI, a national mental health organization, emergency and traditional outpatient services can be found in your area. For intensive services like the ones we talked about today, please call the Princeton House Behavioral Health Admissions Department at 888-437-1610.